comes back here again. Damn, that's crazy. We just saw him two matches ago. Anyways. All right, starting off with the gyro. Huh? 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 Let's fucking go. Wait, I'm not allowed to say that. I said frick, by the way. You can if you want, by the way. Nope, I Last would never. Right I would never. Okay. I'm PG-13, by the way. Vanilla. Anyways. Yes. Anyways. Oh, do you guys, did you hear, did you see about um the Hurtbox visualization of uh, Ingling's Dash animation? No. So it turns out, well, you know how when Ingling jumps over? Yeah. That's not a Hurtbox. Really? Yeah. The Hurtbox stays from the ground, and then there's like a little constant um, active Hurtbox that he has. Are you kidding me? That's really small. Yeah. So that's why would I kid, kid that's so lame. That. Yeah, it is. Which is one of the reasons I'm complaining about Inkling, and not, not not so much about Roller. Also, Retrobot being okay. BT's the best Rob, and generally best player from what I hear, and Embarking Frog's best uh, is the best at UMD. All right, so cream of the crops going at it. I like that. Two really good players, basically. Okay, he down tilted, but he was able to stop that yes, with a tab. Exactly. Correct. It's because he's at low, very, very low percent. Yikes! And, and that that should be it. Uh, I I don't know. Granted, if that, I guess he was just not close enough. He was not close enough. I mean, I mean, he can also like react out of the um the single hit because the berry has a um. Oh yeah, it just sends you a little forward or whatever, right? No, no, it sends you at whatever direction you're you're hit on. So right. Basically, if you get hit by. Um, like a forward tilt and do nothing, uh, the, the opponent would just fly off to whatever yeah. you hit him with. Yeah. Also, I want to let you know that Z drop gyro is really, really good. Oh, yeah, for sure. I love Z drop combos. Whoa, okay, the gyro just flew off. The <laughs> That's crazy. I, was just, I thought Retro Ball was pushing you aside. What? Oh my god, how many backers was that? That was like three or four. And he's still going. This guy's insane. Oh, oh that was an excellent tech. Most players don't actually tech that. That's, that just shows you these players are really good. Yeah, it shows you that lovely reaction time that they have. Hell excellent. yeah. Let's go reaction time, gang. The reaction time is so important in the game. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, that was a nice up smash punish. I kind of like it how he just walked with him. I know, that was so hype. It really was. Oh, he almost caught him with the down smash, but... I don't think it would have killed at all. Oh, it definitely wouldn't have, but the damage is there. And he would have been off stage, so it would have set up for an edgeguard opportunity. I agree. But right now, Retrobot in the lead. But I don't think it would be necessarily hard for Barking Frog to bring this back. I agree. Rob is kind of broken down. Yeah, that's true. When he does stuff like that, yeah. Okay. You can hear that. Timing on the, the window for that um, up drop air is pretty small. Interesting. I think Peach is the smallest. Down throw. Yeah, and that should be it. Oh, okay. So it gets, it's because he's side beat. Ah, I gotcha. There's no hitbox. There's no hitbox on, uh, hit on that in the beginning of it. In the air. Huh. Interesting. I guess he has, that's because he just recently brought it out. Ah. So why would he go for bear there? And that's gonna be death. All yeah, right. Actually, no di. That, I mean, <laughs> that was, no, the eye. would he be able to live regardless, though? Uh, he's heavy. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. That was kind of like really fast. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. yep, yep. I think even I heard the mashing from here. Yeah, Barking Frog matches really hard. I mean, I would too. Yeah, that's understandable. I don't know. My my strap for that is slow and steady. My strategy for that is mash really hard, show the, show the opponent I'm mashing, and stopping immediately. Ah, that's that's smart. That's smart. That's it. That's an even bigger mix up than me. I like that. It's more important to do that. You gotta make, so like, wait, this is one thing that bothers me in every single local. Good change. Yeah, he's switching to beat you. Uh, there's only there's one thing that bothers me in every local. So you see how in majors, you always see like on the stream that two players are far away from each other, right? Uh huh. But in locals or like in majors, of course, where you're forced to be playing next to them, you can see what the, what your opponent is doing. You can see their controller when you're turning out of the open, and your opponent can see that. Yeah. And that's what I did in Smash 4. Yeah. Like, I take advantage of the positioning of not only the characters, but how we are in, in person. Oh, for sure. And that was a lovely spike, by the way. That was an excellent start from Barking Frog. Things are looking a lot different already. I agree. Forgive me for diverging into a different conversation about topic. Absolutely no I problem. I knew it. Oh, my God. This is insane. 
Bro, this is a totally different barking frog right now. Wow, look at the sensei over here watching this student go at it. <gasps> oh no, that's, that's my god, that was crazy. All right, reflecting the T jolt. I kind of like that. That was cute. I think barking frogs, I think, pretty easy, unfortunately. Um, does this stage favor Pichu in some way? Yeah, it definitely does. Interesting. Platforms, uh, platforms don't bother the thunder, the thunders, and uh, T jolts like Hell's us. Ah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Sneaking in the back here through the shield. Uh, yeah. down air? Uh. So, the one issue that uh, Retrofon is doing this matchup is that he's approaching. Granted, he is. Uh, okay. That, he, that he's in a dock, stock deficit and percentage deficit. But in the beginning, I think he just did approach. And then you can't overwhelm a Pichu because, you know. It's just, well, I'm sorry. Right. I'm like, distracted by this Pichu. No worries, dude. Wanna, oh, that's it. No way. Oh, yeah, misses about. the spike. Oh my god, misses it That's again. It. No way, no way. Oh, almost gets the up smash read a little too far. No. Um, this might be it. Okay, never mind, he's back. Oh, no. Rob's a big boy. No, 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 that's a bad option. Why would you go for that? Yikes. Oh, yikes. That down air almost? Oh, yeah, that's it. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Bear's really strong. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you killed the fox at zero. <laughs> ZD was, that was a pop from ZD. Shout outs to, uh, what was that, Xanadu? No, that was just, um, UMD Stampede. Shout outs to UMD. UMD, uh, basically, yes. Yeah, shout they, outs to UMD. They host a uh, monthly every month. Interesting. Hence a monthly. <laughs> Maybe I should go. Uh, it's really, uh, okay, so the environment there is really good. I like the players a lot. Uh, I have no complaints besides probably the third party of apps, but that's like everywhere else. Yeah. And like I said, like I said, it's a pretty good venue because that's food nearby too. Oh. So you're never like gonna starve. That's what I like to hear. And I like it. And I like the TO a lot, of course. He's a really good, really, really good TO and a very nice TO. I like, I like good TOs. I agree. Me Shout out to File for being. An amazing TO. Dude, Files has been putting work in this TO in, uh, as a TO in this community and it's showing off and I love Oh it. yeah, I love Files so much. Excellent TO for the region. Heck yeah. Also, Are we going to Spirit Train? Huh? It's the best of five, by the way. A best of five, huh? Interesting. I think it's so it's like top eight. It's top eight. This is top eight? It's a top eight. Hmm, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe I'm not sure how the bracket is structured. I think it's just one of the brackets. I got you. I also think there's like 80 or so people here. Mm -hmm. So pretty small for an ultimate tournament. Or average. Average size. My bad. I want to say small. Small would be like yeah. 40. Small, yeah. Running it back to Unova. Unova. Um, I think the reason why was because he was... I feel like he was kind of starting to figure it out near the end. But, yeah. you know, because it's Pichu, he just kind of got blown he, he up. Got, he got... Overwhelmed and demolished, basically. Yeah, for sure. And the only issue is if Barking Frog starts taking the um, the defensive side, it's really bad because giving Rob space is a terrible idea. Oh, for sure. You want to overwhelm Rob repeatedly over and over again. If yeah, so then he space, doesn't have time to like throw out gyro, throw out lasers, yes. do all the things that Rob likes to do. Definitely. Also got to be worried about short hopping because of Nair and side B. Ooh, that was a little risky. I feel like retro boss side B usage is kind of bad. <laughs> Oops, I got to go now. No, I'm going to be alone? Uh, yes, maybe. All right, but good talk. Good talk. Goodbye. I'll see you next time. Regardless, now Prince Rolf is gone. Watching his Pichu and Rob together. That's not it yet. 74%, 148. They say Peach is a life character, but he's going to live so long. And that's not it either. Not generic. What's going on, generic? Hello, gay boy. I mean... Thank you, generic. No problem. What's the game? It's game three. Holy shit, let's go. It, yeah, it's the best of five. Wait, it's the best of five? Yeah, for some, I, I'm not sure where in brackets is. No, it's not close. I'm pretty sure this is a... Uh... In the top eight, right? Is this? I've... Well, I'm in the same spot. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, he's sick. Yo, but he died at 170%. That was I mean, he's still sick. <laughs> yeah, Can you yeah. do that? Huh? Can you do that? Of course. Oh, wow. So nice flex. Pichu's uh, up is pretty easy to do. Uh, yeah, Pichu rate. sucks. I agree. Mid tier. I agree. What? Once most people figure him out, he's going to be terrible. No, he's not. That's it, by the way. 
No, he's not. No, wait, was that a fair bear? DI, baby. What? That was fair. You're oh. blind. Oh, oh I my. I thought it was a bear. My bad. Can you do that? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Shout out to So this is, this is, like, I think 16. Is it? Because I've won two games in winners, and I'm in the same spot as them. Uh, are you, do you know where File was at? File was right before, after this, but yeah, yeah. which it was his round two. After, so this was this is winners round four. What the heck? That's crazy. And it's best of five apparently. No, yeah, it's yeah. hype. Wait, I play Waddy in the best of five. Well, anyways. <laughs> That's high. Well, man, I'll, I'll be don't back, give, boys. Don't give. Regardless, what? we're back. Land on the mic. All right. We got Retrobot versus Barking Frog. I want your opinion. What, who, do you think, who do you think wins this matchup? I have no clue. Really? Not yeah. even a, like... Okay. I understand. Yeah, I think they're both broken. What do I know? <laughs> I don't think they're broken I, at all. I hate them both, but clearly Rob more. That's understandable. I understand Rob isn't perfect. But I, but Rob I is huge. Yeah, exactly. I didn't kill. Lightest character in the game, right? Yeah. I understand did he, it too. Did he, did he even DI that badly too? Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure he did, right? I'm, I'm positive he did. Regardless, that strong hit Nair hit him and then killed him. Yeah, that Nair does it doesn't, it doesn't be killing anyone else. I like it. <laughs> Man, he took 7% on that. I know. Uh, the only issue with Ratchabot in his matchup is that he's not sealing out the, the stocks at a yeah. very low percent. Or the average percent, I guess. And I think he's not like even being too uh, careful enough either. But he could be doing more nares when they're going to kill him. You know what I mean? No, I, I feel what you mean. Also, uh, uh, Retrobot sometimes just approaches, and it's a really bad thing because you also let your opponent approach and give Rob. Um, that's not it. Well, um, uh, Retrobot has always been a pretty aggro uh, Rob, though. Is he really? I have no idea. As uh, in my experience. Okay. Yes. Why is everybody? I'm commentating with. Uh, leave. Regardless, goodbye, Len. This is the third commentator that leaves me. Yes. But it's all right. <laughs> that's. Wait, 222%. I didn't realize I was talking to Len. 57%. That's it. Flies away. Dies at 240. Insanity. Or honest, I'm gone. Hey, Ben. Was that three games? Did you win the first one? No, I You won, right? Ronan versus Len here. That was both of our commentators. You know, they just switched straight into their stream game. So uh, I'll be commentating for them. Uh, yikes, by the way. So we've got Ness versus Pikachu. Or Pichu. Uh, I've not seen six, P uh, six Ness. That's a new one for me. But it seems like Sega always has something up his sleeve for every tournament. You know, he played Pac Man at one tournament. He plays, you know, he plays something new for, seems like everyone. But uh, he certainly plays it well no matter what he's playing. You know, he's, he's, got his, uh, he's got his fundamentals down hard. 
you know. He uh, he plays like Seabass Jam. 